Hi guys, in the previous lesson we learned the use of Jupyter Notebook and the shortcuts. From this lesson we will start our Pandas tutorial by creating simple series objects and continue to practice all the techniques which are really needed for data analysis. What is the series? It's a one dimension array holding uh, the data of any type uh, compared with the dictionaries which hold a two dimension array. Also the series could give you an opportunity to make some calculations by using the methods uh, which is super powerful in data analysis. So I have run my server here, Anaconda server, Anaconda prompt, for, uh, we Anaconda prompt I have run the Jupyter notebook and now I will create the files and call it series and try to explain all the concepts of series here. It might take a bit time in order to create a file. It might depend even on the internet connection. Okay, I will try to rename it to series and click enter. Add a couple of lines here and try to explain it first. Let's create a series by um, using the data source from the manually created list. I will create a variable here, language and define its values here, the string value values. Python, for example, these are the programming languages which uh, Swift, Swift, then assign something like C++, PHP, right? And we have four elements here. And now, if I run it, it will not print anything because I haven't called it. But if I want to call it right now, it will print it out without problems. But if I want to call it as a series, I will have to import the pandas library here. In order to import the pandas, I will type it what? I'll type it import pandas spd. Again, we have already installed the pandas library in the previous lessons uh, and this one is could be any string you like, but in practice always uh, we use the pd because it's an easy and understandable way of calling it. After calling it, I will type in shift and enter. It will run this cell and import the pandas libraries here. And now I will do what? I will try to call it as a Mm, series. In order to do that, I will type in the PD series and then I will pass in the variable which holds what or data here, language. And if I just click enter, it will print out the list here. You could see that it will print out four elements with their indexes here. And uh, after printing it, you could see that we have a type of object called because we have strings in our list, so the data type uh, of strings will be the objects. But for numbers, it will have what? It will have integers here. Let's create the basically list of numbers here and call it. Okay. And now I will try to again call it with the help of series and pass what? The variable here and click enter, it will print the integer. We even could uh, assign it to the variable a as an example and call the a itself here. Again, the result will be the same. Okay, if we have an integer for this integer numbers, we could have the float uh, d type for the decimal uh, points uh, or then for the numbers with decimal points, we will have the floats, okay? Uh, just keep in mind, okay, in the numbers on the left hand side are called the indexes, uh, as I have already told you, these are the indexes, and uh, by default this is uh, the identifier counts from the zero, uh, again you could see that it counts from zero, and ends with three here, the python, here the index of the python element here will be the zero, the index of php will be what, will be three. Okay, we could even do what, um, instead of this variable, we could directly assign the numbers or the elements here, 
again the result will be the same or we could even call uh, one or specific elements here in order to do that I will type in the two as an example and it will print out the result like that you could see it will print out the second element here but if we want to print out uh, the element with the index here we could even do it like that by three and close the scope here click enter it will print out the third element here PHP you could see uh, we could even give if I want to print out all the elements after the first one including their indexes it will print out all the elements here without indexes we should just have to give the position here like that okay it will again print out their indexes here because we have included a lot of elements here but if I include one it will print only the element here we have created the series with the uh, lists and now we will try to create with the dictionary and mm, how should we do this let's create the series with the dictionaries elements equals to and create the dictionary here the key will be as an example phone the value will be what is uh, define the color that phone has the red color tablet has a blue color you could pass whatever you like and computer might have black color black and run it it would not print anything in order to print it out as a series I will pass it to the library to the pandas library pd series and pass what pass the variable name elements okay and click alt enter from here um, if I run the code you could see that the dictionary values uh, va values will be the series values while its keys could be what its indexes here these keys are the indexes here uh, it will be the label or the index it does not matter the index of or the label of red will be the phone the index of black will be the computer instead of the numbers also we are not able to see as uh, index positions of these values uh, pandas automatically defines its indexes starting from zero because if i just try to access uh, these series with numbers like say, print give me the first uh, element here it will print out again blue you will see zero is red the blue is uh, the first if i try to print out all the um, elements after the first it will print out the blue and black here also uh, we could even define the indexes uh, by giving the parameters i will just give a short hand of using the parameters or the indexes in order to print it i will type in index and if i want to print out the indexes i will have to just type in the phone it will print out the um, value of the phone key here I can even pass in a uh, second element uh, as a tablet right tablet and click enter from here you could see that um, it will print out what the values of these specific keys here okay also in series we have what we have parameters uh, parameters are the items we give to a method or functions but argument is the value itself we provide to the expected function so let's have a look at the practical examples of using the parameters in the series first we have two like series here 
the first one the, uh, the second one the first one will be the string it's okay the language right uh, click enter and let's create the second one numbers two and define the numbers four four numbers and four elements strings here pay attention that this number should be equally uh, in length as these ones uh, if I have four elements here uh, the numbers should be also four uh, with okay now I will try to create the series from two lists but before creating the series we will explore the series documentation by clicking the let's first create the series and inside of these scopes if I type in the shift and tab it will print out this documentation here but uh, it will say basically that the first one should come the data and after that the index none the index should come the second if I type in the plus it will have additional data and some documentations of using these uh, arguments here but I will skip it and try to explain it in practice the first one, if I have two lists here, numbers two, I will call it again here, numbers two, and I want to create a series and assign their keys to their values here. In order to do that, first I will, mm, I will do what? I will assign first the data. The data will be what? The data will be the language here, language and the arguments or the index will be what the numbers here numbers if i click on enter you could see that the index positions will be these numbers here while the data will be what mm, these strings here because the first one should always come the data we could even assign this and uh variable to the data as this one is the keyword uh, as we have found it in the documentation that this data should be here but we have just assigned it directly here without using the data if i click alt enter it will take what it will print out the positional argument error but if i try to use index equals to numbers two and click enter it will print the result again the same result here but without data assigning this one i think that it should work again because this is not a compulsory but index should be defined here with numbers okay and the last one what should i mention that between these ones if i see on the documentation again by clicking the shift and tab you could see that after each assignment we will have the comma as a separator don't uh, forget it okay and now i think that you have um, familiarized with this um, structure with using the keys and the indexes of this series and i think that this lesson was pretty useful for you thank you for watching this video Subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye.